There you go. Buy right. I think, uh, I think we made 50000 overall. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Okay, so my name is Chaffee Tan Nguyen. I am a refugee uh, from Vietnam, came over and growing up, my parents told me, go to school, get good grades and get a good job. And so uh, being the uh, good son I was, I did that, graduated with an engineering degree and uh, got a job in the corporate world, uh, making good money and didn't enjoy pretty much any of it. So the only thing I did enjoy about working in the corporate world were the people that I worked with um, and uh, hanging out with and, you know, spending 60, 80 hours a week with people. Hopefully you can enjoy the people you work with. And so I did that. I did that. Uh, I was in the corporate world for about 10 years. And during that time, I knew that I wanted to do something else. I just didn't know what it was until I found this thing called real estate investing. And so in 2002, I started transitioning into real estate investing from the corporate world. Um, it took a few years, uh, made a, a handful of mistakes uh, along the way, learned through the school of hard knocks. And when I started working with coaches and mentors is when my business really took off. And that's kind of why I fell in love with coaching and mentorship. Um, every single time I worked with a coach or a mentor, the little light bulb came on, my businesses grew. And I love seeing those results, and I love helping people achieve those same results. So in 2008, um, I transitioned from full-time real estate to full-time coach, and that's what I've been doing is coaching ever since that time. And during that process, I went to an event, and I met this guy named Jay Connor, who was uh, just starting off to become a speaker and still going through some training himself. And uh, we instantly connected, as as I know many of you who have met Jay will feel that instant connection too, because he's just the kind of guy that is just like attracts people to him and um, very genuine, very real. And I knew I wanted to hang out with this guy. And uh, so a couple years later, when Jay started launching his coaching business, he said, hey, Chaffee, I know you do this coaching stuff. Come join the party, help me out. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And we have ever since. So I've been at every single one of Jay's events for almost a decade now. Um, I help put together all the training and coaching and mentorship programs um, uh, at every single one of the uh, Mastermind Live events, and I also am on this call uh, as well. So love working with everybody and looking forward to seeing all of your successes as well. Have anybody um, with wins, as we mentioned love before? Let's hear a celebration. What's going on? What's happening? Anything? Eric and Erica, celebration. If nobody I have a win in Chicago. I'm here. <laughs> we closed the deal. We closed the deal uh, today. So that's a that's a definitely a win. There you go. Buying, selling, what? what sold is, it. Some details. Sold it. Um, don't have all the numbers right off the top of my head, but it was a good, light, light, very light rehab. Held it forever. One of those things uh, where we bought where the the median house that people are buying it was it was above that by about 50 grand 60 grand and it just sat for since december finally got a seller and uh, a buyer in there though and you bought it with private money yes sir fully funded with private money and you're gonna still make money with it even though it's sat. oh yeah there you go buy right i think uh i think we made fifty thousand overall about and repairs didn't really take that long it was mostly because i i mean from my experience i believe that the reason is, is coupled with the interest rates uh being high and the higher priced houses around us yeah you know, the median household uh the median house purchase for that area is around 170 and this house sold for 260. And uh, we're experiencing that most of the houses that are well above the median is going to be just sitting there for a, a whole lot longer than normal. So, so this was an out-of-state purchase, or you live in Chicago? 
No, I, I, I live in uh, Pearl River County, Mississippi. Okay, so yeah, out of state. Okay. No, it was it wasn't out of state. It was uh, I, when I said I had a win in Chicago. I mean, Chaffee Tan win. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Sorry for the confusion. Sorry. Okay, no problem. He was cracking a joke. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Chaffee. Thank you, uh, Banjo. Yes, sir. The the question you asked last time, so is that um, if you're starting from scratch in your market and need to get five thousand to ten thousand in your pocket in the next thirty to forty five days, what would be the best and fastest way to do this? Please list, list the steps from A to Z to accomplish this mission. So, first of all, Tim, this call this call is not long enough for A to Z answers. <laughs> so, I just want to say that right at the outset. So. I don't want you to feel like I'm not answering you. That's a great question to also bring to the Facebook um, group because you can you can get some more responses. But for the purpose of this call, of course, there's things such as wholesaling, wholesaling, those types of options. You can work on getting smaller amounts of money. But what you said over here in the new chat was, which I thought I, I said, I really want to speak to that right now because it was like, Perfect. And that was what's the best way to find, you know, regarding finding deals. If you are wanting to put cash in your pocket, you said, since I don't think you can put cash in your pocket in 30 to 45 days, starting from scratch on a foreclosure deal, what would you do if you were starting from scratch and needed to put cash in your pocket in 30 to 45 days? So I mentioned a couple of things that you could do that with, but I, I just want to debunk what you said. You can easily put money in your pocket in 30 to 45 days on a foreclosure deal. And the reason that you can do that is you do the purchase on the foreclosure. You can either, depending on the price point, if it needs rehab, obviously you're going to be too limited, right? That's not going to give you the window of time. But if you put it in there and it doesn't need much done to it and you can put a tenant buyer in there, you can put a tenant buyer in there and a work for equity or Put a tenant buyer in there if it's relatively pretty. It just needs paint. I don't paint them, by the way. If I'm going to do that, they're going to give you a non-refundable option fee. That non-refundable option fee is money in your pocket. So I just sort of wanted to debunk that thought process. Hey, you know, Crystal, let me add to that, if you don't mind. If you're following Jay and you know, uh, Jay can close a deal in seven days or less, right? Uh, as, as long as you have private money, right? And if you're following him, you know that he gets paid when he buys a property. So when you're talking about, you know, you can't do it with a foreclosure. Well, you can buy a foreclosure and get money at the closing. So you can make more than $5,000 in 30 days or less if you're following if Jay and do what Jay tells you to do. Yep. Yep. If you're using private lending, absolutely. So he collects checks at that time. And when it sells, so he can collect a check when you close it in the beginning. He can collect a check when he inserts a tenant buyer, and he can collect a check when you sell it. So, but to speak to your, can you get it done and get money early? Oh, absolutely. And then I prefer to do it that way because I don't really like to give away all my money, all my profits. So if the deal has an option where I can actually either put a private lender on it and get some money there, put a tenant buyer in and get some money there, and then I'm going to get a, a much bigger cash out on the end. I would much prefer to do that than to wholesale and let somebody else make all that. So the there's, let me add one other thing too, is that there's no way anybody here can put $5,000 in their pocket in 30 to 45 days, unless you take massive action. But let me just throw that out there, right? You can yep. read about it. You can learn about it. You can go out and talk to a few people, go to a couple networking events. And unless you're extremely lucky and you hit the lottery, the only way you're going to find a deal, raise the private money, find a deal and do all that kind of stuff within 30 days is you go out there and, and you, you know, you burn the midnight hour kind of deal, right? You, you go out there and you do this business. And when you have that kind of massive action and you go out there and talk to as many people as possible and you have different ways of generating leads and you call sellers, then you're going to find that deal. Then you're going to find that, raise that money. And, and just realize that it's not normal, right? No, most people aren't going to spend, you know, 60, 80, 100 hours a week in this business to find that. And if you do, trust me, um, you know, you don't have to be the smartest, uh, you know, fry in, 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 in the order to um, get a deal, right? You just have to open your mouth and talk to a lot of people and do the right things. So 
um, but it does take massive action. And that's the key with any business. If you want to succeed in this business, as well as any business, is that you got to go out there and you got to take action. So I applaud you all for coming on this call. I applaud you all for learning and continually educating yourself. And the real uh, rubber that meets the road or whatever you know phrase you want to use is that you going out there and doing this business and making it happen uh, versus just learning, learning, learning. So action. Absolutely. Um, and I love what you said, um, Chappie, because obviously we make a point of that. And, and the key here is do what you, you know, do what you're told to do. So not just like, you know, go out and just be doing a whole bunch of stuff. But if you're told to do something specifically, like J system says, do A, do B, do C, do those things. And that is like, that's what made the difference for me. Every super successful student that we have that really just knocks it out of the park, it's because they don't question. They do the stuff. And it's when you start questioning and you step back and you wonder about this and you think about that and you decide about this, that, and you're not taking that really intense action, you're not just moving, 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 that you struggle. And there's no need to struggle. Do what you, do what he said to do, take those actions. And as long as you're doing massive action and it's um, designed toward an end point that you know what that is, then you're gonna get there. So I love that you shared that. Yeah, and let me just add another thing too. Cause I'm the mindset guy. Remember um, <laughs> is that you're only as old as you think you are. And a lot of times people think, Oh, I'm too old to this, or I'm too tired or all that kind of stuff. I tell you, sometimes I love working with, you know, 20 year olds, 25 year olds, um, kids that are, you know, just, just at that age, because they don't question a lot of things that I ask and they just do it right. Because they don't know any better to question where, as when you're, you know, my age, or when you get older, all of a sudden you have all these life experiences that come in. And now you're like, well, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. Or what if this, or what if that? So you start questioning all this stuff and then you don't go do what you're told to do. And, and if you just back away from that and say, hey, you know what? I'm brand new to this. Or, you know, even if you're not brand new, take that mentality, take that mindset that you're brand new. And because you want to follow a system that works and we know Jay's system works, right? And so once you follow Jay's system step by step by step, just like Crystal did, just like Banjo and Erica did, then you start seeing those results. And when you have a question of what if, what if, well, what would Jay do or what would Jay tell me to do, right? And then if you don't know what Jay would do or what Jay would tell you to do, then, you know, ask in the Facebook group or if you're a mentorship student, you know, email Crystal or ask Jay himself, depending on what level you're at. And, and figure out what Jay would do and then do what Jay would do, right? And if you follow that process and set aside all those questions, set aside all your experience, right? Then you'll start seeing success. Then you'll start seeing results happen. And the key again is, as Crystal said, do what successful people do, set aside your questions and just have faith in that process and you'll start seeing results. Can I jump in for a second, Chaffee? Absolutely, Scott. One of the things that Jay says is he gets three checks. And the first check is when he buys the house. So when I'm listening to someone say, well, how can I make this much money in, you know, whatever the time period is, the answer is simple, buy a house. And you have to buy the house Jay's way. And that's why we have Chaffee and Crystal. Because like, how do I do that? Well, get a hold of them and figure, you know, figure it out. But if your goal, because when I first heard the question, I was like, oh, my goodness, how do you do that? Because you got to buy the house and you got three months to re rehab and you got to sell it. You got to do all this. And then I thought, hold on a second. Your goal is just to make 10 grand. So if you use private money and you come back away from the deal with, you know, from the buying the property with 10 grand in private money, you solve your problem. And so it's just the first step of the three parts, because you're going to make more money in the next step and more money in the third step. So, uh, you know, it's, but you need to like decide what you want to focus on, like Chaffee was saying. But if you just focus on, okay, I got to buy a house and I have to have private money. Now you just got two things to do and you're going to solve your problem. Absolutely. I, thanks, Scott. Yep. And, <laughs> and to your, no, and to your point, you know, your only limitation is you, you determine what your limits are. So as long as like, 
you know, negative thinking is just really negative goal setting. <laughs> Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's J-C-O-N-N-E-R.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.